Hello everyone, uh, my name is Erling Ellingsen and I'm a product manager with Funcom, uh, a Norwegian game developer who's right now working on Age of Cone and Hyborian Adventures. Uh, okay, so we have a list of questions here. Uh, the first question is from D.N. Kiesen, 13, and he's, uh, and he's writing, Hello, I have been waiting for this game for a long time now, and I was wondering, will, it be a game, will, it, will there be game cards? And if you pay with a card, how much will it cost a month? Uh, yes, there will be game cards, so if you can't pay with a credit card, you can actually buy one of the game cards uh, and, and uh, get game time uh, that way. Uh, as for how much it's going to cost, it is going to be the industry standard, so it's going to be around the same price as you're paying for you know, World of Warcraft, NeverQuest and, and all those games. And then we have a question from Guitain, and he's writing, uh, When you thought of the gameplay in Hyboria, was it a challenge to create a story that would be unique to every player? but still be available for every player to experience together with others. Yes, absolutely, because you know, the Conan stories, have so, there's so much story, there's so much storytelling in them, and bringing them uh, to life in an online universe is, is a big challenge, because uh, the stories of Conan has already, always been a hero story, where you have Conan as the hero. And obviously in an online game, everyone can't run around and be uh, just as big hero as Conan. So we, what we're trying to do is, is uh, create a, uh, a framework uh, that's, um, that's built up by the Conan stories, and you basically play a character in, in, Conan's, uh, in one of the Conan stories, more, more or less. So you have to create your own destiny, and you have to, to follow your own, uh, uh, to follow your own uh, agenda, basically. So it, it, it has been very difficult, uh, but I think we really, really pull it off. Uh, then we have a question from Vige, uh, and he's writing, I have many questions, but let me ask uh, at least one of them. Is there any ideas already for an Age of Conan expansion? Uh, that's too early to, to talk about, of course, but uh, one of the real beauties about making online games is that you can always add to them, you can always expand them, you can always make something new and, and really uh, bring the whole world of Hyboria to life. So, of course, depending on the success of Age of Conan, we really, really want to do expansions, and we, we have plenty of ideas for that. Uh, you know, there's so much to draw from uh, in, the, in the world of Conan. You know, there's a huge, huge world. There's so many stories and so many cultures, so many monsters, so many stuff, much stuff we can do. So it would be a dream for us to make uh, an Age of Conan expansion, that's for sure. And then we have a question from Bankai, uh, who is writing. I was wondering how true uh, Age of Conan will be to the original storyline. I mean, will the heroes uh, follow? Will they follow Conan's life, or will it be? Uh, or will we be able to create uh, and quest as we want? Uh, yeah, as I was saying to, to the other question, um, uh, we are true to the setting of Conan. We are we are taking inspiration from the original Robert E. Howard books that was written over 70 years ago. That's our main source of inspiration. So we're, stay, we're staying very true to the spirit and the setting of Conan. Uh, we're not going to be realizing all the storylines that was in the books because that's hero stories. And what we're trying to do is that we're trying to create a backdrop uh, that is just that is just breathes Hyboria. So you, when you walk into the game world, it really feels like you're in Hyboria. All the different characters, you're going to be, meet a lot of different characters from the books. You'll be able to interact with them, you'll be able to meet Conan, for instance. You'll be able to visit many of the areas that he also visited. Uh, but it is really about creating your own life and creating your own destiny and actually living a virtual life in the world of Hyboria. Uh, then we have a question from Absor Porner. <laughs> Who's writing? Um, I was disappointed when you moved the scheduled date of release, but I guess it would do. Uh, but I guess it would do the game good, and make it a better experience for all the players. What is the biggest problem the team is facing right now? Well, actually, uh, to be honest, right now we're in a very, very good period of the game development because we're starting to. Uh, we're uh, just before launch, and we're sort of just putting the final touches on the game and really polishing it up now. So, so now it's actually very, very fun to be uh, to be working on Age of Conan. But our biggest challenge right now is actually making sure the game is user friendly, uh, that you have a nice progression, um, th that you have a nice user friendliness. Uh, in early in the game, and, uh, and it will get more and more complex as you get further into the game. Um, we have had a lot of beta, uh, beta tester feedback, um, and we identified a lot of good points uh, that they were making. 
and we that's one of the reasons why we delayed the game because we wanted to change some of the things that people were really asking for for instance we wanted to to polish the the combat and make the combat more more fun and more intuitive for instance so we're really working on that right now uh, but as I, yeah, as I said it's it's a really fun time to be working on Age of Conan right now uh, and then we have a question from Johnny M I 2004 um, my question is, is Age of Conan going to replace World of Warcraft as the number one multiplayer game? Uh, no, it's not. It's, uh, that, would be, uh, that would be crazy to say, because World of Warcraft is a social phenomenon. Uh, it's not just a game anymore, it's, it's, it's become... Uh, it, it's, uh, it's carved a, a special place in the industry that is going to be very uh, hard to fill by another game. Uh, you know, everyone knows World of Warcraft now, and it's uh, they sort of hit the they, they shot the, the the golden bird or whatever you want to call it. They really they really um, did it big with that game, and I think Age of Conan is going to be is absolutely going to be rivaling World of Warcraft. Uh, I think I, ho I really hope it's going to be going to be really really popular. But the strength of Age of Conan is that it's so different from World of Warcraft. Uh, we're seeing a lot of World of Warcraft clones right now, uh, a lot of uh, MMOs releasing that's very similar to World of Warcraft, and, uh, and you know, that's fine. Uh, but what we are trying to do is we're trying to create an online game that is just very, very different. It's, it's brutal, it's bloody, it's sexy, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's for grown-up, it's a fantasy role-playing game for, uh, for mature people. So it's, we're trying to, to carve our own little space in the, in the MMO uh, market, and uh, that's that's uh, one of the reasons why I think Adrian Cohen is going to do it really well when it launches. So thank you so much everyone for all your questions and I'll see you in Hyboria.